Okay, hi everybody. I am going to talk about Hi Tyrant. Uh so Ard on Discord mentioned that there's no counter for the high tyrant in the early game as chaos so we're gonna explore uh basically if he's correct or if he's flat out wrong and so i put it on hot seat here uh so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna do some tests here and theories so First of all, uh, let's make the enemy high tyrant. And actually, before I do that, let me put a link to this video. Um, on my Twitch. Okay, hi everybody. Okay, yeah, so... So, I haven't really tested this out, but I had a couple theories on possibly how to counter it. And we're going to take a look at that. Come journey with me today. So let's put the High Tyrant out. Now High Tyrant is quite uh, devastating for most factions early game if you don't have some decent anti air. What makes the High Tyrant pretty dangerous is that it can one shot those specialized uh, units like Devastators, um, the Chaos, I don't even know what they're called again, Havocs. Uh, but the high tower would need, I believe it would need some items to do it. Um, and let's, realistically, early game high tyrant will not be level 6. We're talking, so I will probably just give him, let's say level 3. That's more realistic, if it's, if we're talking early game. Um, and usually what they're going to go is loyalty, movement, loyalty. That's pretty much what they'd be going for. Uh, and if the uh, nib player is lucky, well, let's see as far as naked wise, because we'll, we'll, we'll go into if it's fully itemized or not. But um, the one thing I'll mention is... I know for a fact that the, what do you call it, the engineer or the chaos engineer, what's it called? You know, I gotta look at the. Warp Smith. Okay, that's the unit. So, one of my ideas was if you stun the high tyrant, you could then set up your Warp Smith to do. Uh, it's full damage. Oops, that's items. So... Okay, so Warpsmith. And let's say Warpsmith is level 3. Okay. Um, so then you would give him his uh, blast thing, which I think is this. So be a level 2 and you got healing. Um, okay, so the other well, the other thing we can talk about too is uh, so the units that you have available with chaos. In the early game for anti air is you got marines you got havocs but again the weakness to havocs is uh, they can get one shot uh, and then that affects your morale but 
if the havocs are on um we should do a test to see if the havocs are on um an outpost can the high tyrant kill it so we'll do uh a test there um the other anti-air so you got uh brutes but brutes don't really do that much so um Hell brutes. Let's start with age. What? Yeah, very little. Uh, and then is that it? It's mainly just. Oh well, then well, I'm not gonna put in the what do you call it the the transport because the transport does like hardly any damage. Like that's not gonna bring down a hive. Uh, but one thing you can consider, okay, uh, if you surround your Havocs with a full surround of units, uh, the High Tyrant can't kill them. So that's one thing, like, you, there are ways to, like, um, if you're, if you know you're against this High Tyrant, then obviously you want to have a full surround of your Havoc. So that way the High Tyrant can't come in there. Kill. So you want your strongest units in the front, the weaker units in the back, because the chance that two units can get at the back units are pretty nil. So, um, but this looks to be your early game composition, but uh, also MLP. Well, MLP can't do anti-air, but I'm more interested in uh, the damage buff. So we'll just go level three. Oops, level four or well, whatever. Um, so we'll do just two infernal powers yeah whatever okay so this is kind of more realistic what you get uh, I'm not gonna put the chaos Lord in just because uh, it's a melee only unit but the one thing I will say yeah so na naked wise uh, you can see if we do control that's the melee so it almost kills the Havocs on the outposts without any, any um, so with no items, they can't one-shot uh, the Havocs, but time? if you get demoralized, they will. So that's one thing to consider. Uh, once you're, If it's demoralized, then yeah, it will one-shot it. But, um, Marine-wise, yeah, it does a lot of damage to Marines. Doesn't really do that much to, to uh, Hellbrutes. Um, heroes, they do decent. Now, um, yeah, if Havocs move, they're not doing that much. That's where the Stun Grenade sort of is a must. Uh, same thing with Warp Sith if you move. Uh, and MLP is just testing out this accuracy demo. Okay, so where, where I think the, the key to victory against this matchup is you want to buy um, you want to buy so you can't uh, unless he's naked I, I think in order to kill like you the habit or sorry the high tyrant you will need uh, the key item is concealed weapons and digital weapon and then a stun grenade now I know you're saying well that's too much influence well thing is if you're up against a nid player then just build a influence building and it's worth it because yes, it's gonna slow down your production a little bit, but it's gonna give you the tools to counter the high tyrant. And if you can kill the high tyrant, that is almost like Tyranids losing a base because they lose all this loyalty. They usually have three to four bases. So lo losing their high tyrant um, is a big, it's, it's definitely worth wasting three or four turns building an influence building so that you can then get your stun grenade and your digital weapons and whatever. So that's what I would say about that. But, um, so let's put on our engineer, Warpsmith, let's put, so what he requires is concealed weapons and a digital weapon. If you wanna, if you wanna go a step farther, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll just, Test wise, uh, you can grab 
uh, Comet Stimulant, but I don't think you need it. And I mean, sometimes Omniscope, but or just these, I don't think they're required, but. Uh, and uh, Stun Grenade. Okay, so let's end the turn. So we're gonna look at naked and unnaked. Okay, so let's say high tyrant. Are we okay? Okay, let's say the high tyrant. Um, no villa targets. Oh, I gotta go. No villa targets. It's not allowing me to uh, jink the high tyrant. Increase. Oh, that's not good. I want. Okay, well, here's the thing. Even if the high tyrant jinx, it's not allowing me to jink it. Okay. The fact is you can, you're going to stun it. Okay. So let's just pretend. Okay. I moved, I moved into it. I stun it. We end our turn. It's stunned. Okay. Let's pretend. And then it's now our turn. Okay. So I'm just going to pretend that happened because for some reason I can't jink it. So I'm, you're not going to be able to do that much when it's jinked. Uh, but then the next turn, let me just, I want to make sure everything's healed up here. Okay. So, your Havocs, 5.3, naked. Uh, your beam is almost half health. Uh, now, here's the interesting that players don't understand is that uh, the Melta trait does more armor piercing um, when it when you're close to a unit. So if you're one hex away from a unit, it does like I think double or half or times one point uh, point five or something. So if it has eight armor uh, and my penetration is okay. So it, I don't get a benefit if he had some armor on his 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 uh, high tyrant. Then I want to move one hex close. So anyways. Um, digital weapon, uh, if you look at it, it's eight armor penetration. Again, a naked high tyrant, eight armor. So you're getting the full benefit. Um, so if you look here, that's 13.5 digital weapon. Okay. And so we just did those two things. Now, what if, what if? We got a buff from Master of Possession. So we do Master of Possession buff. And now you've got 18.9. And then if you do Digital Weapon, it's practically dead. <laughs> you just have to sneeze on it. Or if you did buy the Combat Stimulant and now you go Digital Weapon, it's dead. So actually, Let's see. So combat stimulant with buff from MLP with digital weapon is yeah half health. Um, and then half health with beam or whoa beam does. Oh, yeah. Now here's the cool part. You might think, okay, well how well will it do if it has all its items and all the upgrades? Can this combination still kill it? Um, now the beauty of this right is. Usually, you're, th these are considered support heroes, right? So usually they're in the back, they're safe. The way 200 players will do most of the time is they will run in the high tyrant on a full attack. So usually you'll be easily to run in, stun it. Then you just have to zone out the army and then do this combination. So you can see right there, just these two units, the Warpsmith and the MOP can literally uh, single-handedly kill just with the right items. Um, conceal weapons, digital weapon, give them the Omni scope, it's really cheap. And then if you have enough influence, uh, a stim pack, and there you're good to go. Uh, now, let's give the High Tyrant lots of items. Let's give him all the tier nade upgrades, and then let's see how well we do with this, this group here. So, uh, let's give him the adamantium weave 
Let's give him... Um, use, I mean, fine, we'll put Zotheide on him, even though a lot of times they don't. Let's put Bracer. And... I mean, if, do you want... It's pretty much, that's what's going to keep him alive. Those three things are a lot more harder to kill. Um, I mean, if you want to go even extreme temporary shield, like... For the diehards out there <laughs> that want to keep their high tyrant alive, um, so we gotta end our turn to sh for those items to show up. Okay. Oh, we got 100% rage attacks. Okay, some point. Two. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? Okay, so. We're just, I'm simulate. I can't jink. Oh, I can jink him now. Okay. But anyway, so what's going to happen is going to come in. Um, uh, let's put, let's put concealed weapons on. Let's make him a fully scary high tyrant. Um, so he would have concealed weapons. Oops. And then... What would he have? A sword or an axe on him? Uh, let's see. How many? I don't know if he's better with the sword or the axe. I think the. Um, let's give him the sword. I mean. Okay. All right. But I don't know if you would see. A, I mean. Not in the early game, you would not see High Tyrant like this, but... Okay, so this is a Dooms, Doomsday High Tyrant. Um, but you can see, yeah, one shots, even on Outpost. Um, yeah, pretty scary. I'm demoralized right now because we've been ending turn and the Fear ability is kicking off. Um, so let's see the worst situation. Now... I think if you're demoralized, it might be hard to kill it. But let's let's do a test. Uh, let's kill. Oh, it's doing the Overwatch. All right. So say we jink. Oh, so if if it jinks, it can't kill Havocs, or maybe with the axe, but. Definitely is not going to kill Havocs if it jinx. But anyways. Okay, so. And then. It'd be my turn. Um, stun. I get into position. Okay. And then if we... Oh, I already used my stim pack. Damn. Okay. Well, we don't have stim pack. Um, so digital weapon not doing that much. Uh, the the blast. Uh, I'll call it the blasting. Not doing as much. But if we buff that, six point six. Oh, it still has Jink. Okay, so that's why we're not doing that much damage. Okay, so that's why the stun grenade is uh, so important. Is that you need a turn for the Jink to go off. Uh, you won't kill it. Or you, you'll do exactly what the Tyranid player wants you to do. Is way slow your turn, um, action points trying to attack it with Jink. So with stun grenade. I just want to give my guy comment stimulate. Um, so with stun grenade, you are able to let it's gonna wear off the jink. So now the jink is gone. Okay. I was saying, what's going on with the damage? This is not right. Now, so on MOP 8.3, but again, this this is like fully itemized. So if we get a buff from MOP, a stim, 
and 20.9. So again, you can see the damage is uh, pretty much there. Like, you just gotta tap it with something. Um, yeah, so. But they're demoralized right now, so they're not doing that much damage. Uh, so that was a fully item level three um, hive tyrant right there. Again, what you need, uh, ideally MOP, uh, digital weapon, concealed weapons, omniscope, and get a stim pack. You have to invest in an influence building to, to get that. I, I'm pretty sure you can't. Uh, but that would allow you to easily counter this. And the fact is, uh, if they lose a high tyrant like this, with all this stuff, um, that's a huge investment that they lost. Now, the other thing is, well, you're, you have not upgraded all all this stuff. So let's do another test. Let's let's hit the upgrade button. So Tyranids has full upgrades all the way to tier ten. Um, does that even make a difference? Let's. Uh, uh, they lowered the damage a little bit, but again, we're still doing tons of damage. Um, so yeah, even with all the upgrades, not doing a lot. Let's say you even use the shield, okay? Because this is a Melta, remember we do more piercing damage. Again, doesn't affect it. Uh, it does affect the digital weapon. It's a lot less. So if you did do a shield, your digital weapon's doing lots. But the big factor is um, this beam attack. Um, this is a level two beam, so let's let's see what a level three looks like. If you get it to level five, okay, level five beam, and this is with the temporary shield, okay. So you're, it's got fourteen armor. Um, boom. So let's see, let's see, let's give the upgrades to chaos, okay. So we're playing unupgraded here. So upgrade to chaos. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys is I didn't mention in this guide is you can give your engineer more attacks, which will increase all the damages that I've been showing you. So um, 21.7 with with chaos being upgraded. Um, I did do temporary shield on the high tyrant, gave him all the upgrades. Um, but watch this. So digital weapon 8.7. We give him Mark of Crone. Uh, where are you? So, digital weapon, 8.7, 21.7, 7. 8.7 digital weapon, 9.9 went up, 22.6. Yeah. Uh, now, Let's let's even go a step further. Let's put him on. Um, if you can get an altar on your uh, warp smith, even better. So where is an altar? Way up here. Okay, fine. Let's let's move. So watch this. This is the dream right here. So you're going to make pick up an altar. That's going to boost your attack even more. Now. We do the check, 23.4, digital weapon, 11.11. .11. Okay, again, this is a little bit like this. He has every single upgrade with temporary shield. So this is, um, and again, I'm assuming you stunned him to avoid this jink, okay? Because if you don't stun him, he's going to fly away uh, unless you can get a full surround of units around him. Uh, but, so I'm assuming that it, you're stunning, you're setting it up for next turn. Um, but yeah, you can see crazy damage, crazy damage. I just, I wanna get my morale back for, um, yeah. They want a battle. yeah, so how is her, I mean, he's he's got 14 armor. Yeah, no, no, no you're, uh, so the only way to really deal with this effectively, like if he's gonna do full on survival mode with the high tyrant with temporary shield, you gotta stun it and then do MOP. Oh, we didn't even try the full MOP buff. Okay, so if MOP is level five or six, um, 
Let's see how big the ultimate bu uh, buff is. So, boom. And then you have 27.1. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That almost one-shots it. Yeah. Digital weapon. Now, here's the thing. If you can afford two digital weapons, that's definitely... I, I mean, I don't think you have... I, I think one's enough. But, wow. Yeah, so I think... Uh, if there's a tuner player and you're playing Chaos, I recommend getting the MOP plus the Warp Sith. Right now, uh, your your Chaos spawns in the new patch require food. So it really opens up a good meta with Chaos to get lots of Chaos spawn. One awesome thing is Chaos spawn are very good for zoning and scouting. So uh, I definitely think hero builds with Chaos, uh, especially with this con. Because your weakness it is true. If you don't have these two units and doing the strategy that I've uh, mentioned about here, you really don't have a good counter to this unit uh, until you get into your air or your um, the other, oh, let me talk, the, the, the more high tech units for chaos, which is down the road. Uh, I, I guess the next best, well, a demon prince is probably not bad if you manage to get lucky with one, but uh, Random Crawler, I guess, is your next best thing, but that doesn't come out quite late. Uh, so let's just... I'm curious to see if what a Demon Prince can do. And what I say to people, like, when you're losing to a specific strategy, this is a perfect way of figuring out how you could beat maybe a particular unit. Go into Skirmish. Debug mode is Control D. And you can, um, you can place units and do tests like what I'm doing. That way, when you're in a game, you know exactly how much damage you're going to do. And if, if you're going to kill, you know, instead of testing out an actual game where you fail and then you lose the game because of that. So, uh, what was I going to do? I was test. Oh, the Demon Lord. So the Demon Lord got a buff, but in Art's words, it's still garbage. But I think he's just, he doesn't like it, the unit that much. Okay. I'm curious. So what is this? Deals damage, target, infantry unit. Okay. So this is, oh, he has a level six thing. I'm just curious. Is this a psyker ability? So can he do... No, he basically doesn't. I mean, he he can do this, which pins it, um, blinds it. Okay, it doesn't pin it. It pins infantry. Okay, yeah. So yeah, Demon Lord can't really can't kill. It could be a, you know, debuff it, but yeah, it's not doing a lot of damage. Um, okay. Yeah, that's all I got to say about this uh, quick guide here. Again, uh, these two are the two key units that you need to have in your army to combat. Uh, most factions have a hard time dealing with this unit. Uh, but other factions have tools like heavy destroyers, hunters. Uh, ha uh, Hydras for AM, uh, Tau has Sky Rays, or even, um, I guess, yeah, Sky Rays would be the best, but, um, what are other factions? Orc has, what does Orc have? Oh, you know, Orc might have a hard time. Um, uh, Tank Busters, but I think, yeah, we, I would have to test out with Orc, uh, But I think digital weapon with Warpath, or no, Warpath only affects melee, melee attacks, I believe. But I think uh, digital weapons are really good for um, killing single.